Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm just going to double check my measurements and they seem to be fine. All right, going to start adding clay to this thing. I have to wait for the studio to warm up enough so I can work my clay. If I don't, even with the uh, 100 watt bulb over the clay, it's too cold to get anything going on it. So. Okay, this is going to be the lead horse, and uh, not sure exactly how I'm going to mount these guys because I've got an idea of what I want to do, but I'm going to have to wait till I get to the point where I can put them all together. I had a gentleman that bought uh, my digital instructional uh, videos last week. He bought a uh, one last weekend, and uh, he just bought another one. He says I he just loves this new form of uh, video, and I I gotta say that if you got a iPad. There's nothing better than to be able to go right to my video and have it right there next to your sculpting stand. So I sold him another one today. He bought it a half hour before I saw it, but as soon as I saw it, he had it. That's the nice thing about digital. Like I said yesterday, I'll have all my videos on digital but right now I get the most popular ones on there right now to make a great Christmas gift just saying <laughs> Okay, I gotta check my measurements here to the tip of the shoulder blade. Should be exactly right to the tip of the uh, hip bone, and it is. And uh, the length of the neck is the same as the length of the face. It is. All right, we're doing good. I go over all these measurements, by the way, in uh, my instructional videos and uh, on creating a horse or anything to do with a horse. I got two videos on creating a horse. One is a couple hours long and the other one's about an hour and a half long. I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to take this uh, off of here. I don't think I'll do it right now. I'll do it maybe next time or maybe today. I don't know. It depends on how I, how I go. For you wondering why the different colored clay, 
Uh, the uh, dark brown clay is monster clay. And the gray clay that I'm putting on top of it is a JMAC clay. It's not the same thing as monster clay. Monster clay is a uh, clay that gets stiff, I mean really stiff. Uh, JMAC stays pretty much the same as it is. It, it'll get stiff, but not as stiff as uh, monster clay. I used it instead of wax. Uh, normally I would use a Victory Brown wax on the uh, if I was going to do bone structure, and I probably will next time. In case you're wondering uh, what I'm sculpting on, I'm sculpting on my revolving stand, but when I'm working this small, it's nice to have it real close to me instead of me reaching into the middle of the table. So what I've got is a Lazy Susan right here that you can get at any hard, hardware store. And I attached it to a couple of boards that raised it up off the uh, sculpting stand so it would even raise my subject up a little higher. And that way I can... And then I anchored it with a couple of screws to the uh, top of the sculpting stand. And that gives me a nice little revolving sculpting stand. And you can make one of these for your table at home. It's uh, very simple. You know, it doesn't cost a, a four arm and a leg. This sculpting stand was made for me by a friend of mine years ago. But I've looked at uh, the price of sculpting stands on the web, and uh, they're very expensive. Very expensive, as everything uh, with artwork is. I can put it in a more of a level type thing. I know the angle it's going to be at when I sculpt it, but uh, it's, this is so I'm not reaching way over. I think this is going to work out good. All right. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. 
the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.